Hello Math Champions! Today we are going to learn about greater and smaller. Greater meaning bigger, smaller meaning fewer, smaller, okay? Now, we are going to give you two numbers over here, 27 and 50. You are going to tell me now which one is greater, bigger. Which is the greater number? Now, there's a very simple way to do this. Let's look at 27. It is made out of two tens. Let's take out two tens first. One ten, two tens. Let's put it nicely. Two tens. Hello? Seven ones. Let's take that out. One, one, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones, six ones, and seven ones. This here is 27. Now let's make 50, which is made out of five tens and zero ones, nothing. Okay, so one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, and five tens. Okay, so there are five tens, 50. So this is 50 and this is 27. Which is greater? Can you tell? It is this one, 50. There are more squares here than here. So this is the greater number, 50, okay? And now I have two more numbers for you, 37 and 73. And I'm gonna ask you again, which number is greater? Now they look the same, don't they? 3773. So which one is greater? Let's look at the tens, okay? The difference is in the tens. One ten, two tens, and three tens. So there are three tens over here. Seven ones, let's make seven ones. One one, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones, six ones, and seven ones. So this is 37, okay? Let's make 73 and look how great or small it is. So one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, and there's no space, seven tens. And three ones, let's put three ones. One one, two ones, and three ones. You already can see, right? You can see which one is greater. Which one has more? Which one is greater? It's 73. And it's very clear once you look at the tens, the number of tens. So let me show you a shortcut, okay? Now, let's say you don't have all these tens and ones to play with. Now, what's a very fast way you can determine which one is greater and smaller? So all we have to look at are the tens. So look at how many tens there are over here. There are three tens, right? Not very much, quite small, right? How many tens are there here? Seven, that's way more than this one, right? This is greater. So already we know that 73 will be the greater number because there are more tens. I don't need to look at the ones actually. I don't need to look at the ones right now because as long as the tens are greater, we already know that this will be the winner. This will be the greater number. All right, I have two new numbers for you, 34 and 72. I'm going to ask you which one is greater. Can you tell? Look at the tens. Which one is greater? Is it three or seven? Seven, right? Seven is greater. So 72 is the greater number, okay? Because we are looking at the tens only. We are not looking at the ones. Look at the tens. As long as the tens is greater, that number will be greater, okay? And just in case you can't see it, all right? You can't visualize it. Here you go. This is 34 and this is 72. You can see so many tens here. And because there are so many tens, this is the greater number number. Now some of you might ask me, what if both of the numbers have the same number of tens? For example, 42 and 46. Both of these numbers have the same number of tens, right? Four tens, four tens, just like that. Four tens, four tens. 
So how am I going to tell which one is greater? Now, when both tens are the same, we look at the ones. Yes, over here. Okay, we are going to look at the ones now and see which ones is greater. Okay, let's start with this one, 42. So 42 has two ones over here. One, two. Down here, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So tell me, very simple question, which one is greater? This one, 46. So 46 is the greater number, okay? Because the tens are the same, we look at the ones. So this ones is greater, six ones versus two, right? So six wins. So 46 is the greater number. Now with two new numbers, it is time to ask you which is the smaller number? Is it 25 or is it 65? Once again, we are going to look at the tens, okay? And see which one is smaller. Two tens or six tens? Of course, two is smaller than six. So two, 25, will be the smaller number. So that you can see, I have made for you six tens over here and five ones. So this is 65 and this is two tens and five ones, 25. You can really see that 25 is smaller than 65. So this 25 is the answer. Now with 51 and 43, can you tell me which number is smaller? Once again, I need you to look at the tens, okay? And look at which one is smaller. Is it five or is it four? Four is smaller, right? So 43 is the smaller number, 43, okay? And once again, so you can see clearly, this is 43, four tens, three ones, and this is 51, five tens and one one. You can really see that this one is the smaller number, okay? So for this last question, can you tell me which is the smaller number? Is it 41 or 43? When you look at the tens, you notice that both of them are four, so you can't compare those. You have to compare the ones now. Which is the smaller one? This one here, one only, right? So 41 is actually the smaller number. Let's take a look. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Both of the tens are the same. So we start looking at the ones. One over here and three over here. One, two, three. So this number, 41, is smaller than 43, okay? Okay, we have come to the end of the lesson. Let's play a few games, shall we?